17 days ago, something extraordinary crossed the vast region between Mars and Jupiter, an event that has stirred astronomers, physicists, and curious minds across the globe. The James Webb Space Telescope, positioned nearly a million miles from Earth and peering deep into space with unprecedented clarity, was in the right place at precisely the right time. What it captured was not a known comet or asteroid, nor a rogue planet or a fragment from the Kuiper Belt. What crossed the orbital plane between the red planet and the gas giant was something that didn't fit neatly into any of the categories scientists have cataloged for centuries. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began as a flicker, barely distinguishable from the cosmic background. The web's mid-infrared instruments picked up a heat signature that didn't match any known object cataloged in the minor planet center, or existing databases of celestial bodies. As it drew closer into the field of view, the telescope tracked its movement with growing precision, revealing a fast-moving anomaly with characteristics never before documented in the solar system. The trajectory, speed, and the curious spectral fingerprint of the object raised immediate questions. What was this thing, and how did it come to pass through one of the most stable and well-mapped regions of our solar system? Situated between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt a vast toroidal region populated by countless rocky bodies and dwarf planets. While many objects drift through it, most remain gravitationally bound within this belt. For something to move across this area at such velocity, without being deflected or captured, suggests either an immense force propelling it, or origins that defy typical celestial mechanics. The object didn't appear to slow down, veer off course, or exhibit any signs of tumbling or fragmentation. Instead, it sliced across the belt with uncanny precision, as though following a calculated path. The web's imaging suite detected a strange reflectivity on its surface. It wasn't entirely metallic, nor was it the dusty regolith seen on asteroids or comets. The material appeared composite, reflecting infrared and ultraviolet light in inconsistent patterns. Even more peculiar was its temperature, higher than a typical space-faring body not in close proximity to the sun. Not so hot as to be molten, but warm enough to suggest either recent exposure to stellar radiation or some form of internal energy. This anomaly challenged every known principle of passive solar heating in deep space. Early measurements suggested that the object was no more than a few hundred meters in length, oblong, and rotating slowly on a stable axis. Unlike the interstellar object Oumuamua, which raced through the solar system years ago and left more questions than answers, this new arrival moved not in a slingshot arc, but in a straight, unwavering course. It didn't loop or pivot with gravity's tug, it carved a line. This rigidity of motion implied a degree of control. That idea alone sent shockwaves through the astrophysical community. There was no sign of a tail, no debris trail, and no outgassing common features for icy bodies. It wasn't cometary, nor was it erratic like many small asteroids. Its behavior was orderly, consistent, and yet utterly foreign. When scientists analyzed the light spectrum bouncing off the object, they noted spikes in wavelengths associated with rare Earth elements, elements not commonly found in natural solar system bodies, at least not in such combinations. This opened a torrent of speculation. Could this be artificial? Could it be a probe or even something more advanced? These questions, once confined to speculative fiction, suddenly felt grounded in empirical data. As the object crossed the midpoint between Mars and Jupiter, Webb was able to gather additional data on its velocity and trajectory. It wasn't decelerating. In fact, calculations indicated it had maintained a constant speed since entering the outer solar system. This was problematic for Newtonian physics, which expects long-range objects to show subtle gravitational acceleration or deceleration depending on solar proximity. A constant velocity suggested some force counteracting solar gravity, perhaps propulsion, or a finely balanced trajectory that defies current understanding. There was also the matter of its entry point. Tracing the object's path backward led researchers to a region beyond the orbit of Neptune, skimming the edges of the scattered disk. That area, while vast and little explored, is not typically the origin of inbound fast movers unless perturbed by massive gravitational events. Yet no such disruption had been recorded. The object seemed to have entered the solar system with intent, not as a wanderer nudged off course. By the time it passed between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, interest had reached a fever pitch. Data from Webb was supplemented by observations from ground-based observatories and other space telescopes. 
The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile and ESA's Gaia satellite also logged data, providing parallax measurements and allowing for a 3D mapping of the object's movement. These composite models confirmed a disconcerting truth. The object was not only real, but moving with a purpose that could not yet be defined by any natural law or known force. Meanwhile, gravitational models showed that its path would continue through the inner solar system, but it would not intersect directly with any planets, not even Earth. The trajectory passed through the orbital plane but at a slight inclination, ruling out any direct impact scenarios. Yet its passage between Mars and Jupiter was too clean, too deliberate. It didn't wobble from asteroid influence, nor did it exhibit any signs of being pulled into planetary orbits. It glided through the inner rim of the asteroid belt as if avoiding it by design. By now, discussions among scientists began to coalesce around two competing hypotheses. The first, more conservative, suggested this could be a fragment of an ancient unknown solar system body, perhaps from a moon that shattered eons ago, or even a relic from the solar system's formative years, only now making its first close pass toward the sun. Its unique materials and structural integrity could then be chalked up to freak cosmic history. The second hypothesis was more provocative, that the object might be of artificial origin, possibly an artifact of extraterrestrial technology, or even a derelict probe sent eons ago from a distant star system. Neither theory was conclusive and both had holes. For the natural origin theory to work, it required the existence of a body with exotic materials and a flawless trajectory that had somehow gone undetected for millennia. For the artificial origin theory to hold, it required evidence of design, engravings, propulsion, emissions, none of which had yet been observed. What did exist, however, was a growing catalog of characteristics that didn't fit anything ever seen before. The implications of this event are staggering, not just because something crossed the solar system in a way never observed, but because it forces a re-evaluation of long-standing assumptions. If the object is natural, it challenges everything known about the formation and composition of solar system bodies. If it's artificial, then it suggests the presence, or past presence, of intelligent life capable of interstellar travel. Either outcome demands a restructuring of current scientific models. Moreover, the timing and the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope made this event uniquely observable. Had it happened just a decade earlier, such an object might have gone undetected or poorly documented. Webb's high-resolution instruments allowed not only for tracking, but also for spectroscopy and temperature mapping, giving scientists a detailed portrait of the object as it moved through one of the most well-studied regions of space. This wasn't a blurry dot. This was a fully characterized, multi-band anomaly with quantifiable metrics. There's also the question of its destination. The object's current trajectory takes it toward the sun, but not directly into it. Instead, it will pass within the orbit of Mercury before exiting back out on the opposite side of the solar system, continuing its path into interstellar space, unless something changes. No signs of maneuvering have been detected, but the absence of deceleration near the Sun defies the typical behavior of sun-grazing comets and asteroids. Solar radiation should alter its course or velocity. So far it hasn't, as it made its way past the midpoint between Mars and Jupiter the region where the gravitational tug of both planets converges in a complex equilibrium. The object didn't even flinch. This balancing point, often called the Kirkwood Gap, is where many objects are pulled out of orbit or scattered. This one remained steady, like it had plotted a course designed to minimize gravitational interference. That's either an extraordinary coincidence or evidence of something far more calculated. Scientists are now poring over the terabytes of data captured during those crucial hours. Every pixel, every emission line, every shift in angular velocity is under scrutiny. The object has become the most closely analyzed anomaly since the first detection of a gravitational wave. It's not just a mystery, it's a potential cornerstone for a new era in astronomy and astrophysics. Its very existence raises questions about what else might be drifting in the deep void hidden in plain sight, waiting for the right eyes to find it. Even seasoned astronomers, long trained to temper their excitement with caution, are voicing astonishment. Not because they believe it must be alien, but because they know it isn't ordinary. That rare space between certainty and the unknown is where science thrives, 
and this object has carved a path directly through that space, both figuratively and literally. The moment it passed between Mars and Jupiter wasn't just another celestial event, it was a portal into possibility, a crack in the seamless curtain of what we assume space to be. Something just crossed through the heart of our solar system, and it didn't behave like anything expected. The implications will reverberate for decades, the theories will evolve, the data will be revisited, and future telescopes will be recalibrated in light of what the James Webb Telescope saw. But for now, the object continues on, silent and steady, leaving behind not destruction or transformation, but a lingering question that resonates through every observatory and lab on Earth. What crossed between Mars and Jupiter was more than just a celestial traveler. It was a messenger of mystery of science and perhaps of something more. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on it crossing Mars-Jupiter? Will JWS reveal aliens? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.